Hi everyone, well, we're at Copart in Amarillo, Texas. My boss bought a truck here, and here in a minute, I'll show you guys what it is. So, stay tuned, we got things coming up. Right. Well, here he bought it. Hey, it has a job box on the back. That's cool. Stud oh. post. Dang it. He was right. Yep. Okay, well, we got new batteries and we're gonna try to put them in real quick. See if she cranks. Does it have a push button on it? <laughs> oh, clutch. You gotta use the clutch. Sure. There she is. Oh, I don't want to sit in this passenger seat ever. Dang. No seat left in it. Oh. Let's Did you see. get out that door or what? It's just tied over there. Sounds good. Well, hopefully it'll build air and we can get her home. Well, I'll have to find a place to set you guys up. Good oil yeah. pressure. Yeah, good oil pressure. Good pounds. Good air pressure. So, yeah. Hopefully, the seat air is up here in a minute. I never so. would have guessed you had to surprise. That's an international. Of course, you would. It looks like it had a splitter on it at one time, Fred. Well, maybe. You gotta get down underneath there and look at the trans. Yep. But, but they want us out of here as fast as possible. So we can we can do that outside where we were pulling out the gate. All right, I'll put you guys somewhere and we'll be back. All right, well, I guess he's gonna try to pull it out of here. <laughs> Oh, it runs good, but there is an idler pulley that is wobbly, so we're going to have to fix it. I saw a Volkswagen parts car over here. Look at him go. Dang. That's a big truck. Oh, it's all-wheel drive. It's full-time four-wheel drive. Look at it go. If 
shot a tag on the back. They do things a little different here. I think leave that bed on it, put the pooling unit right on that. I don't know. We'll see. So, all right. Well, we're going to check out the Sidler pulley and we'll be back. I thought I'd grab the other tool kit. It's not loose must be bent. Uh, yeah, it's just bent. So? Can I see the engine? Can I see the truck? Sure. Six wheel drive, right? Four wheel drive. Four. Four, four wheel drive. Yep. Four wheel yeah. drive. So I never see a truck like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So do we worry about it or go home with it? Go home with it. Okay. It, it's just bent right here. Right. It's just that outer flange. Yeah. That's something from something else. Do. Yeah. Coming out of the yeah, it's coming out of the fall. Yeah. It's no big deal. Well it had power steering. Yeah, well it's out of power steering fluid though. So well we might there's truck stops down here. Yeah. We can stop and get some. How bad's this tire? Not too bad. <laughs> Don't worry, we brought one. Oh, I got a toolkit right here. <laughs> See it your way. Well, we're, we're making it. So, hopefully we'll get on the road and see what happens. So, this is 99. Well, we are gonna go get some power steering fluid and see if this truck makes it home without getting pulled over too. Cause uh, we don't wanna get in trouble so <laughs> okay well let's get going down the road we'll see how this all works out well it's a long ways across Texas and we are going 55 miles an hour that's all she'll run she's sort of slow so once we get back into Oklahoma I'll probably drive it for a little while let Fred drive this. I imagine it's not very fun driving that. And especially for this long ways. It won't be bad once we get the pulling unit put on it. I think that's what we're going to do with it. Put a pulling unit on it. And be able to pull water wells. So let's get the rest of the way to the house. Well, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but now it's my turn to drive it. I'd rather be driving the pickup. This thing is so low on power. I'm doing 45 right now. Fastest we can get it, 55. So, uh, I tried to record this just a minute ago, but my mic wasn't working. When we switch, stopped to switch out drivers on this truck though, I did find me a little knife. So, we'll see. All right, let's get home. I sort of feel like Weston right now driving 55 and breaking down every few minutes. 
This trip should have been three hours long, and I think we're in our. We left at eight, and it's now what? Four. So yeah, this is not the way we planned on it a going. But where else do you get to drive a crew cab, four-wheel drive, international? You just don't get to do it. Granted, it don't have AC or radio or fuel filter, and it's bogging down. We're down to 45 now. And going up the big hills, we get down to 35. But it's an experience, that's for sure. Almost there. We're making it sure nice. The other camera died and boy it's hot in this truck. It is super hot. So uh, it's it made it even though it's not running great. I'll be able to show you guys here in a minute what it's doing. But it, it's not running great. The uh, you can sort of hear it. I don't know if you guys can but I sure can. And uh, it just loses all power. It's sort of jolty, you know. So, I mean, it feels like we're going back and forth, back and forth. So, hopefully it's not that big a deal to fix. But uh, either way, I can probably fix it. So, uh, I've sort of got a suspicion it's either fuel related maybe governor related i don't know yet but it it does ain't right so anyways we'll try to get this fixed and maybe we'll do an update video on this truck but this isn't sort of every, something we're going to be doing every day uh my boss's son just needed help getting a truck from amarillo back home and that's about an eight hour round trip but we're not making very good time because of this thing. So, well, sure, maybe it's like a six hour round trip just in a pickup with just yourself. But, all right, well, there you can see it. It's almost, it's almost wanting to go. There we are, come on. Look how slow the RPMs are rising. That's really the only problem we're having with it, but it hasn't died on us yet. So, I really appreciate everybody that's watching. I really do. Uh, it, it means the world to me. So, uh, we're one mile from the house, so I'm going to go ahead and call it as if it made it. So, thank you guys for watching. We will talk to you next time.